everyone, this is Kelly Janae with Ethereal Ecology. I am sitting on a mountain, essentially, um, in Lanai, Hawaii, and I wanted to do a little meditation video because I've had these little moments where we've sort of been, I don't know, having a break from field work. As you can tell, I'm in my field work clothes, so this is kind of an unorthodox meditation video, but there's no better time to meditate than just like the f five minutes, ten minutes, whatever, between field work on the top of a mountain in Hawaii and so I've had some little special little moments with the landscape and with my meditative process that I feel like you know I could share with you and so one meditation that I'd like to do today is sort of a four elements meditation I was doing this really kind of uh, informally yesterday out on the landscape and I found it to be a really grounding way to not only connect with myself, but also to connect with nature and what's going on around me. So this will probably take five to 10 minutes, just something really easy and simple. Um, and you can easily extend this sort of meditation to be longer and you can do it whether you're out on a landscape or in indoors. It works no matter what the four elements that I'm going to go through, they're always around. And I'm going to focus on the four elements of earth, fire, air, and water, just because they're the easiest sort of most basic constituents of uh, this planet and of our body. But of course, there's like metal and ether and these other sorts of wood that, you know, Chinese or more Eastern traditions might get into, but we're not going to get into that today. We're just going to meditate a little bit and get in touch with the nature within and outside of ourselves. So I'm gonna put my hat on because it is really hot. Um, and I, I uh, welcome you to get into a meditative posture, whether you're sitting on the floor or sitting on a chair, doesn't really matter. It's nice to have a cushion under your seat if you can, so that your knees are somewhat below your hips for more comfort. You're welcome to put your hands wherever you want. You can put them on your knees, facing up, in a mudra, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then have a straight spine, a proud chest, and gently close off your eyes. And as you start to get accustomed to having your eyes closed, to coming more inward, I invite you to take note of your breath in this moment. Notice the natural flow of in-breaths and out-breaths. And if you find yourself judging your breath as being too shallow, too short, too uneven. Let that go now. This is about witnessing. Simply being. And since we are focusing on our breath in this moment, it makes sense to focus on the air element, to tune in to the air element. Notice how it feels to have breath going in your nostrils, out of your nostrils. Notice how it feels to have oxygen flowing into your lungs and spreading out through your veins into all of the areas of your body. Filling you with life.
You may notice other forms of air in your direct vicinity. If you're outside, you may feel a breeze on your skin. And even if you're inside, you can feel the air on your skin, whether it's warm or cold. Simply notice the sensation that air has within and outside of your body. And then maybe take a moment to just reflect on how miraculous it is that there is air on this planet that we can breathe, that we can feel. Admiring air's capacity simply to move. To move based on physical processes of thermodynamics and ah, it seems like magic sometimes. Take a moment to be grateful and to really open your heart and your body and your mind to the element of air and its constant necessity and impact on your life. Now let's shift our attention to air's opposite element, that of Earth. Begin by noticing the surface beneath you, the contact of your body against the floor or the chair or the cushion that you're sitting on. Notice how it meets you with enough force to keep you stable. You may reflect on the actual surface that is beneath you. Is it soil or dirt? Is it grass? Maybe it's some sort of cloth. Or perhaps a wood floor. Take note of that boundary between your body and the body of the earth or the surface that you're sitting on. Enjoy the sensation of being held. Now focus your attention on your body itself which is, of course, made of the very constituents that have built the surface of this planet. Notice the solidity of your bones within your skin body.
how they hold you upright, allowing again for stability. Notice the porosity of your skin. Simply tune in, become aware of the structure, the texture of that solid surface. And maybe take a moment just to marvel that the food that you've eaten over the course of your life has somehow been transformed into, into a body, into organs, skin, bones, everything in between. And how it is this earth which sustains life, our life, and the life of all other living beings. Make room for gratitude for the element of earth and all that it does for us every single moment of every single day. Flowing now to pay attention to the element of water which may not be as apparent in your immediate environment. You may not be sitting by a river or a pond or an ocean. But you are, in fact, sitting in a body that is comprised of roughly 70% water. Take a moment and really tune into your body and Make an effort to sense that water energy, that water element within yourself. Maybe you just drink some water and you can sort of feel it in your belly. Perhaps you can feel the fluidity and softness of your skin and organs. Or if you're willing, you can tune in to the flow of blood through your veins, capillaries, arteries. If you're in a house, you can even reflect on the water that moves through your pipes and how it got to your house from some water source. Let's take a moment here to simply sit with the miraculous nature of water, how it feels, and gratitude for having it in our body, in our life, for all that it does for us.
finally, to round out this meditation, let us focus on the element of fire. Fire again may not seem so readily available to our senses, but if you are sitting outside or near a window, you may take a moment to feel the sun's rays on you or around you. Perhaps you are even sitting under a light in a room, which in itself is like a small sun, a small fire, heat energy, light energy. Even the moon is a sort of reflection of this fire element. Take a moment to reflect on the sources of, of light, of the luminaries that are within your world. again, bring your awareness back into your body, noting that there is fire within you always. Your body is 98 or so degrees, if you're healthy at all times. Where does this heat come from? How is it generated? You may note the difference in temperature between your body and the temperature hitting your skin. Are you warmer or cooler? One very obvious source of this fire element in our bodies is our digestive system. So I welcome you to tune into this space, the stomach, the digestive tract, to see if you can identify a fire within you, a heat. Perhaps taking note of the fact that oxygen and air is vital to keeping this fire alive. That earth and fuel are necessary, just as in creating a campfire to keeping this fire alive, to starting it. And then perhaps just pondering on the water element and how that balances the fire within your own body. How both of these forces, which are sort of yin and yang in a way, balance each other out. They're both necessary. So to close out our practice, let's just take a moment to acknowledge these four elements, earth, water, fire, and air, within our bodies, beyond our bodies.
how they operate independently of one another. And then also how interconnected their functions are in keeping this planet in equilibrium and keeping our bodies in equilibrium. May we be grateful for this planet, for these bodies, and for the magical elements that comprise them, how they work together to balance each other out, to make life dynamic, interesting. Taking a few more deeper breaths, to recenter ourselves in the present moment. Start to bring some movement back into our fingers, back into our toes. My feet are literally numb. <laughs> Move the shoulders around a little bit. Say thank you, body. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Welcome back, friends, body friends in the world where there is a planet with elements. It's always great to come back into awareness of the simplest things, which oftentimes are unfortunately not paid attention to, which is the fact that we have this amazing technology <laughs> that we live in. We are on this planet that over four and a half billion years has somehow created an environment that is that sustains life and that we can actually thrive on and and have happiness and fulfillment and and intellectual curiosity it's really a blessing so i hope that this meditation brought you some joy and some gratitude which i'm finding is really quite a panacea for much of my suffering gratitude that is you are worth the joy, you are worth this moment of reflection, and you can come back to this awareness anytime you please. That is your birthright. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more meditations with myself, Kelly Janae, from Ethereal Ecology. Peace out.